there may be just a tiny but quite significant chance that there is the other end of a dummy in her. I'm really worried for Scully. People might think that a dummy teat, ah, it's soft, it should break down, but if it passes from her stomach into her small intestine, it could block. She could then get infection, she could get septicemia, and she could die. Later that afternoon, two unexpected visitors arrive at the Richmond Clinic. Scott's wife, Zoe, with their new puppy, Scully. Hello. Hey. Hey, honey. <laughs> OK. Look who I brought to see you just because they love you. Hello, monkey pants. What are you doing? There may be just a tiny but quite significant chance that there is the other end of a dummy in her. Great. It's just that sort of day. We're all feeling flat about Rosa, and suddenly Zoe walks in with our new puppy, Scully. No, it's not a social visit to cheer us up. Apparently, she swallowed a dummy, which is not the news I want to hear right now, and I hope this isn't going to turn out to be a serious problem. I found two Brilliant. dummies like this, but mm. I've only found one of these, and the only reason I found that is because she threw it up. Right. So she threw that one up this morning, and she has eaten and been sick again since, but no sign of the second one. My team and I brought Scully into the world just recently. All right, babies, all right, you come. OK, here's on baby catching duty, Ems. I'm on. It was a complicated birth, and it was touch and go for a while there. Any luck? No, not yet. But her brothers and sisters and her are all fighters. Oh, I did hear a squeak. Oh, squeaking. After everything that we went through with how close we were to losing her, it is just so gutting that she's already back at the practice. All right, let me have a little feel. Uh, unfortunately, I can feel what I believe to be this dummy. What we'll do is we'll do uh, a quick x-ray with her conscious. We won't knock her out, and okay. we'll see if we can see it on x-ray. Yeah. And then we're going to have to work out what we're going to have to do. I'm really worried for Scully. People might think that a dummy teat, ah, it's soft, it should break down. But if it passes from her stomach into her small intestine, it could block. She could then get infection, she could get septicemia, and she could die. You are very naughty. Yes, you are. This is an incredibly dangerous predicament, and that dummy needs to come out. Can't be mad with you, though, because you're so gorgeous. But you're very naughty. Okay. Hey baby, okay, so be ready just to take this shot once I've got her in position. At the Richmond practice, Scott's dealing with a family emergency. Ready, x-ray. With nurse Nathan's help, he's urgently trying to find out if his new puppy Scully has swallowed part of a dummy. Right, let's have a look, Zoe. Jump in there. Hmm. So, Let's see if we do that. That's, uh, that's quite compelling evidence, isn't it? Yep. You fluffy doofus. So the x-ray is fairly clear as to where this missing teat is. The concern is how we're going to get it out. It's quite big, she's quite small, and at the moment we're quite worried as to whether she's going to bring it up or if I'm going to have to go in and get it. Let Uncle Nathan hold you. Scott is desperately hoping to avoid surgery, so he's giving Scully an injection okay, of apomorphine to make her vomit. I know, I'm sorry, sweetie. Right. How quickly is this going to work, Scully? Very quickly. Yeah, she'll start vomiting. Hey, just pull back your ears. Just think it's this, or possible anaesthetic and surgery. Come on, sweetie, throw it out, please. Good girl. That's it. Sorry, sweetheart. Come on, baby. Let's say go on. Throw it out, please. Let's say go on. Go on. Come on. Anything? The injection works. But there's no sign of the teeth. Come on, baby. But on the second attempt. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Good puppy. Oh. Oh. Good puppy. Keep on being sick. Normally I'd wear gloves for this, but uh, with my fingers covered in our dog sick, it must be love. Hey, must be love. I've never been quite so excited to watch a dog vomit. And uh, she's avoided surgery. It was like a trainer conversion all in one. But I would like her to not eat anything like that again. <laughs> Good puppy. Hey. It's an incredible relief uh, and a weight off my shoulders that Scully's brought up this teat. It seems like a little thing. It's just a bit of plastic that a little puppy's vomited. But it means her daddy doesn't have to put her under the knife and perform surgery. So we're all very happy. No more dummies in the Miller household. No. All right? Poor oh, baby. We're going to take the doggies for a swim. Yeah, is that lovely? Here we go. Here we go, pup pup. <laughs> Scully's like, this Good is girl, very Betty. new. What do you this think? As for mischievous little Scully, She's been on her best behaviour since the dummy ordeal. That's a good girl. And today, Scott and the family are enjoying some precious playtime together. Daddy, can you... It's like a wet mop head. Daddy, I don't You want to hold that? She's made a huge impact on our lives. The kids absolutely love her. Betty adores her and she's got a new spring in her step. And I honestly can't see a life without her. What do you think, Scully? Any good? Uh, Scully's first go. Well, not too bad, although Scully does turn out to be a drowned rat underneath all that. <laughs> if you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way.